Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to be taking a look at the auto relief option in the Edge Flange Property Manager. I've activated the tool. I'm going to select this edge. Now I'll click Edit Flange Profile. A profile sketch dialog window appears. Here's the sketch. I can adjust it right in the graphic area. As you see, I've got all of my sketch tools available as well. Let's add some dimensions. Smart dimension. We'll make this distance 10 millimeters. This distance as well, I'll make 10 millimeters. And accept. The sketch appears in black line now, and it's fully defined. At this point, we can click back. That'll return us to the Edge Flange Property Manager. Or we can select Finish, and that's going to create the flange. I'm going to click Finish. Here's my flange. SolidWorks has created the edge flange and a small cut, as you see here. This cut is necessary in the machining process in order to bend the area form correctly. Let's take a moment to figure out where the shape and the size of this cut come from. We're going to edit our sheet metal feature to do this. Let's right click on the sheet metal feature, select Edit Feature. Scroll down to the Auto Relief section. It's enabled with a check. This section specifies the auto relief parameters for the entire sheet metal part. We've got three options for the auto relief rectangular, tear, and aubround. Rectangular is selected by default. With the rectangular option, we specify a relief ratio. This is a ratio to the thickness of the sheet metal. Let's click OK to see how this looks. We'll go to the Evaluate tab, Measure Tool. Let's measure the distances. And surely enough, it is half a millimeter or half of our thickness of one millimeter. Let's clear those selections and measure this distance now. Again, a distance of half a millimeter. Let's exit the Measure Tool, edit the Sheet Metal feature again, and change the Auto Relief Type. This time I'm going to select Aubround. Let's make the ratio one and click OK. We can observe that the cut is visibly bigger. Let's measure the distance. It should be one millimeter. It is indeed one millimeter. Let's clear those selections, and we'll measure this distance, also one millimeter. Let's take a look at the third auto relief type, edit the sheet metal feature. The tear type doesn't provide a ratio option. Let's click OK. Here's what the tear relief type looks like. This concludes our lesson about the auto relief option.